ladies and gentlemen. The story you're about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. I'm Mad Wolf. And I'm Gothkin. And today we're reviewing Jules. Nick's Berry. Those on Hooker Pro might have caught the little uh, note about where to get free shisha samples. And this is our free sample, free sample we received. As you can see, it's goopy, it's clumpy, it's gooey, and, and it smells rather awful. Yeah, actually, um, it smells horrible. Like it's mixed berry, and it smells like a cesspool of rotting berries mixed with cornstarch. Yeah, mixed with cornstarch. It's really, really bad. Um, so when we saw a bunch of negative reviews, and then we smelt it, we kind of didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of hope for this. But, smoke. Started producing huge clouds, and it actually tastes pretty good. We, we've been smoking on this for about 5-10 minutes now. And when we first started smoking it, it had a really light flavor, kind of a berry aftertaste. It wasn't, wasn't bad, but it wasn't really pleasant. And then, right as we were about to turn the camera on, it started tasting really, really good. The flavor got more intense, and um, the smoke on this is just fantastic. I mean, yeah, that these poofy clouds. We've got two open windows and a bunch of fans going. Yeah, and it's still that good. Normally, Nikola doesn't produce that kind of clouds with what we got going. We got fans going and everything. And yeah. Yeah, so, and not only that, the taste keeps getting better. Yeah, it's really, against your standard mixed berry flavor, but it's real. It's intense without being syrupy and candy-like. Yeah. And, like, you can really taste, like, the strawberry is a good flavor in there. You can taste kind of the, 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 like, juiciness of the berry, I guess is the only way to put it. Yeah. Um, and it's actually really flavorful. Yeah, I plan on smoking this again. Yeah, we're going to keep smoking this after review. Um, now, the issue is, and I, I don't know this, is how much is Jules compared to other tobaccos? Um, if Jules is in the price range of, let's say, the lower tier stuff, where a 50 gram box would be approximately three dollars retail maybe a little less on a website then this is really good for that type of yeah. price now some of the other tobaccos um, Fumari, Starbuzz, they catch a lot more uh, money if Jules is in that range then it doesn't be, it, it doesn't work as a high price tobacco yeah. if Jules is a, a very economical uh, very economical tobacco then I give it an A++. Yeah. If it's expensive, which I don't know and I haven't looked up, maybe I will later, or maybe I'll forget about it because I'm going to be smoking, I don't know. Um, then if it's higher priced than maybe $3 for a 50 gram box, that's where I start wondering if it's worth it or not. Uh, also, it comes with hookah tips, um, yeah. which if you've ever seen a black and mild, on the end of a black and mild, that's exactly what they are, and they do not fit the hookah. I, I actually don't know what, beyond sticking them on the end of a cigarette, you could use those tips for. Yeah, they, uh, they, uh, they're not hookah tips at all. <laughs> Which is kind of surprising because they advertise hose tips included on the box. And they're not going to work on this hookah. Because I, I guess the logic is... You're buying this, so you probably already have a hookah, you probably already have hoses, but for some reason not tips on your hoses. Uh, they're supposed to be disposable sanitary ones, I would assume, but they don't fit the tips of this, so... <laughs> yeah. Good marketing there, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, overall, if you had to give it a number rating, which I don't like doing, but in this instance, I will. 
I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, good smoke, definitely not sorry. You know, we tried it. Rather smoke this than a lot of other shisha I've smoked. Yeah. But yes. it's not mind boggling good by any means. No. Um, if, like I said, it's around $3 for a 50 gram box or between 7 and 9 for a 250 gram, uh, then I might yeah. pick up. I might pick up some and try some yeah. other flavors. So, but, um,. I think that about uh, sums up our jewels because I'm going to keep smoking this for a while. So with that, I'm Goffin. I'm Mad Wolf. Keep on smoking. <laughs>